there are there are two schools of thought there. Um, so the, the the big general use case, the Google translates, Amazon translates, Microsoft translators, will that will be the the school of thought. There will be the data will work it out. We don't have the time to focus on specifics because we're going after the we want a system that has to be able to translate any type of content. Um, from our perspective, our school of thought is you do need those things, but it's a it's going to take some time to work out exactly how to get them in. So, so Matt used the term earlier on, restoring functionality. So one of the things, so you get in your LMT and all of a sudden you have a leap in quality, but now you can no longer force certain terms to be applied. Um, you can no longer influence the translations in certain ways. And so it's about working out exactly how to do that. And so developments are happening quickly. So now we can handle terminology in neural MT with what we call constrained decoding. So that has been worked out how to be done, and that's being optimized even further still. So I think there will be an element of both. Uh, there will be there will be the school of so it's about data and it's about scale, um, and there'll be other side where it's about focus on specific use cases, and then that's where some of the, that more kind of intricacies will, will come in.